Anna is on a treasure hunt not far from her home in southwestern Germany. The treasure she seeks? Butterflies. Once spotted, she stalks them. What's your favourite butterfly here? My favourite is the purple emperor. We saw one once and it was so amazingly blue, a really dark and shimmering blue. For the past five years, the 16-year-old has documented the biodiversity in her area. It's hard to say if species are disappearing or decreasing, but she's definitely noticed new ones. 20 years ago, for example, there weren't any marbled fritillary butterflies here. Now I see them all the time in the summer. So it's clear that climate change is having an effect. Butterfly watching has increased her commitment to climate protection. This summer, Anna is taking part in the Two Degrees Campus, an environmental seminar for young people run by the World Wildlife Fund. The programme sends the youngsters out to do field work in order to learn how to combat climate change. The focus for Anna's team is nutrition. Agriculture creates many greenhouse gases. At this organic farm, they learn firsthand about climate-friendly farming. It's a hands-on approach to climate protection. Climate protection is fun because it gives me something in return. I feel like I'm doing something worthwhile with my time. I really enjoy it. <laughs> During their tour of this farm, the students learn about what pigs eat, for example, and about crop rotation. The students record the information for the group. The participants here are all interested in climate protection, but they know that back at home, some people are still skeptical. Sometimes you have to debate and discuss it with people. A lot of people I know are skeptical about climate change. That can be a bit difficult, but no one really laughs at me because I enjoy talking about it. The Two Degrees campus is seeking to raise awareness of climate change. This year's programme continues until October. Through the Two Degrees programme, I've learned so much about our consumption habits and the impact they have on other countries and on us here. It's hard to cut down on consumption, especially when you're with other people and they're all eating meat, for example. But on the whole, if you're motivated, it's easy to help protect the climate. Back home, her sister Marlene enjoys seeing the butterflies Anna has found. We saw this today. Do you know what kind it is? A common blue? Yes, a common blue. They're the most widespread. They're pretty. Anna uploads her pictures to an online database called Artenfinder. It's a place for people to document the flora and fauna in the state of Rheinland-Pfalz. She's already uploaded about 700 entries. Each discovery is flagged on the map. Anna often heads out alone or sometimes with her family. Once we were in a meadow, a wet meadow, we were marching along looking for a large copper. And there it was. That's really great. When you set out looking for something and you find it, that was nice. Soon, Anna will have to cut down on her butterfly expeditions, at least during the week when she's in school. But on the weekends, she'll be out again treasure hunting.